Hi, welcome to a gorgeous afternoon in Chesterfield. It's very hot. Today has been about 32 degrees and the next couple of days have been predicted to be 37, 39 degrees. A couple of things I want to look at today is the Becky shower and the Mind Your Own Business in there. And also we're going to have a look at the grow on tank for the fry as this weekend the fry have been rehomed to another uh, uh, Koi enthusiast. So we've got another delivery coming at the end of the week and I'm not going to say who the supplier is yet but that'll be in the next video. As the weather's quite hot and the paddling pool and the bouncy castle's out in the garden I have got a little helper potching around in the garden, in fact two little helpers. As they say never work with animals and kids. If you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. Sit back and enjoy. This morning somebody's taking all these fish in here. There's about 75, 76 fish. So I get them all out again, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's about 78 fish. That's one in the main pond as they grow on. And there's two very little ones in this tank I've shown you. Turn the pump off. I've taken the sides off the RVC. You can see down there, it's a little junk corner, but there's a bit of a damp patch under the elbow where the RVC connects. So the hose connects to the IBC. So I've got a little project I want to try on that one, but it means I've got to reduce the level of the water so I can move it. So I might get wet if the valve doesn't work on there. So I'll clear the cap out first so we can get in there. Just uh, take the bottom drain off, I'm not sure if you can see that. But I've got a uh, kid's just a little net bag that came with one of the kids' uh, play, uh, toys. So I've put that net round the filter guard. The filter guard might be okay for the larger ones, I'm not sure about the little ones. So I've put the net on for the first month or so. And I've moved the air stone and relocated it over here. And then, that gets knocked about a bit. So I should add a bit of air to it. I'm Here's my little opa. You got anything to say, Preston? No. Oh, you just had an ice cream? Yeah. What about uh, the video? Do you say it about the video? Hit the like on the video. And. Subscribe. Good boy. Subscribe. Not sure if you can see there, but the. Water's all dried up now. What we've got down the side of the shed are three outlets. One is for the pressure filter on this grow on fry vat, and the other two are for the tempest. So it then goes down to the bottom of there, and you can see the start of the soak away where the water goes. What the problem I've got with the back key shower is the mind your own business is dying off in places. So I'm going to cut and trim a few of the dead patches off and replace it with the new patch and these are the bits that I've got from uh, off of eBay which is a tray so I'm just put it in water so I'm going to let it grow and sprout a bit longer so I've got a bit more uh, chance of it rooting if I look at the existing one on here this one has recovered brilliantly as you can see it's really flourished there I was going to cut a bit off of that but uh, I think it's doing so well Got the last two bits that have died off and it's recovering well. I've not done anything to that. As you can see it's established really well, so I'm just gonna let that keep going. I'm not 100 sure if you can see that, but down there we've got a short stream of 
blanket weed. So it looks like I'm going to get a quick dose of uh, cloverleaf blanket answer. You can see around the drain where it's starting to pull down as such. <coughs> I'll see if I can get the other camera to a better look. It's the usual scenario with clover leaf blanket answer. Mix that 800 grams into a bucket of pond water and stir profusely until it started to dissolve. And then just sprinkle it across the surface of the water. it to the inlet to the skimmer and to the outlet of the bomb return so it circulates it around. You can see the quickly disperses to the dog's amazement. The dog's in his favourite place, he likes to go in there and when the treats and the fish food come floating round, they can help themselves to it. It's a bit like a takeaway for him. Mix up the last of the powder in the bottom of the bowl and then put it into the pond. Sometimes you get a few lumps at the bottom but today we seem to have gone alright. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If anybody's got any questions about anything that I've seen on the video or anything, please write them in the comments below. The summary is the fry grand tank, pond, vat is all ready for the new arrivals. The two left over from last year are in the tank at the moment, just keeping the filter going and hopefully growing a bit. I'm not sure what I'll do with them when the other ones arrive, but we'll check that out in the next video. One benefit of finding blanket weed is the fact that I've now put treatment in, so the water is fairly cloudy, which should give the fish some a bit of a uh, shade or escape from the sunlight over the next couple of days. I've increased the air on the uh, bottom drain to give plenty of circulation added air. One, because it's blanket weed treatment. Two, because it's very sunny and hot. One beauty of having the air source heat pump, over the last couple of days the pond water has risen to 24, 25 degrees. I've turned it on to chill and the water is now being cooled down to 22 degrees. If, so the maximum it will get is 22 degrees. Thanks a lot for watching the video. And as before, if you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Check out some more videos. Thanks a lot for watching from a beautiful, hot summer's afternoon in Chesterfield. Happy ponding.